Welcome to Violin Adventures, a little special edition. This week, mainly working on the cello back, so we didn't have enough interesting footage to fill up a whole episode. But in this little episode, we do have a little ride out in the countryside. It's like riding through a storybook. It's so beautiful. And also, I have a guessing game for you. Put in the comments below what you think I'm gonna do with this instrument. So keep watching, and I hope to see you in the comments. So this last week, the main thing we've been doing is working on the cello and it's just a lot of carving and carving. So I'll show that here. And also working on the scroll, basically just working on the shape of the scroll, getting it just how I like it before we move on. So this is kind of the slowest part of working on an instrument, is the back and also the scroll. Once we get these done, then we can proceed a lot faster. Okay, here's our scroll, working on just getting it round. And on this side, same thing. And also getting these to match. And of course, we got to bring all this down so that the ears will come out. Okay, I have here one of these cheap, horrible violins. This was dropped off. It's a worthless instrument. It's not worth uh, fixing. And it doesn't even have a lower block in here. So I'm going to take the top off and see if you can figure out what I'm going to do with this worthless violin. First off, I'll need to put in a support down here on the bottom and I'm going to chop off this fingerboard to about here. Okay, here's our very cheap, uh, inexpensive, bad violin. And so we are doing a service to the little children to keep this violin out of circulation so that they don't have to be tortured by it. So these violins were made very quickly out of very cheap wood and they were forced together. So the tone on them is not, not good. Okay, here's our violin that we're trying to take out of circulation. 
So I just cut off the fingerboard. Now this is very technical and important, sophisticated work. We're going to take this and I'm gonna wad up some tissue paper and I've got some glue here. We're gonna dip it in the glue and let's just see what we can do to get this violin um, made into something else. Okay, there it is. We're going to let that sit for 24 hours and we'll see you later. Friday, it's time to go look and see what's going on. Here we are in the shop. And the most exciting thing happening this week is this table with its mountains of wood chips. And this is what takes a long time in making an instrument is just working on that back, which is made of maple and is really hard wood. And we want to get the shape just right, so it just takes time and patience and a lot of grunt work. And here is the cello neck and scroll. Okay, still working on the shape and sides. And those are the tools I'm using. And over here is our new violin. It's just going to hang out and dry real thoroughly before we set it up, and it's the one here on the right. Va'ata belohecha tashuv chased umishpat shemor v'kave el elohecha tamid. And you turn to your God, keep kindness and judgment, or keep mercy and judgment and hope in your God continually. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching and for your wonderful comments. I appreciate all of you so much. And thank you to the new subscribers. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.